Hello, hello everybody, this is TipTopMTG here today with another Magic the Gathering video. In today's video, I am going to be talking about Kaldheim and an announcement made by Wizards of the Coast today. So we have this article called, Welcome to the Face-Melting World of Kaldheim. And in it, there is a lot of art, some confirmations, and some news about spoilers and all of that. So why don't we jump right into this? Vikings, gods, myth, and legend, so many beards, Kaldheim is coming to melt your mind hole. Kaldheim is nearly here, and with it comes some of the baddest, most unapologetically awesome characters, cards, and styles Magic has ever seen. To introduce you to the world, we're hosting Magic's Week of Metal all this week as a glimpse into the world that will debut January 7th to kick off preview season in full. And as you we go on, you'll be able to see art on the card. So... Here are the dates. So from the 15th to the 17th of December, meaning tomorrow through the 17th, there will be a Kaldheim sneak peek in terms of previews. And so this will probably be the Planeswalkers and a couple things. That way on MTG Arena, they can launch the pre-order pretty quickly. Then the launch will be January 7th um, in terms of like the launch event. And then the arena will... It'll be added to Arena on the 28th, January 29th through the 4th will be the pre-release, and February 5th will be the, like, full release of it. So that, we just basically said that. Um, this article is written very, very weirdly. Um, but yeah, how freaking awesome is Keltime? So here are the, some different arts, obviously it's not all the art, but you can see kind of the style they're going for, what things are going to look like. You can see a lot of snow, um... Yeah, just, you know, you can kind of get a little look at the set. Maybe these are snow basics. Um, one thing I do have to mention is that coming out later today, or it may have already come out, I'm doing a Kaldheim prediction video, and some things are confirmed by this uh, article, some things are not confirmed, but some things I do say in there, I'm like, we don't know. Well, that was filmed yesterday, and of course we get the news announcement this morning, so... Yeah, so we're going to meet some pretty cool planeswalkers, and you'll be seeing them freaking everywhere. I'm this, The way they're wording this is so ridiculous, but here is some looks at it. It looks like they are confirming that everything is going to be metal-themed, and here are some packaging. So we have the, you know, the... the the normal boosters, we have the set boosters, we have the bundle, we have the collector boosters, and we have the theme boosters, which I did make a prediction about in the thing, but, uh, yeah, it'll look interesting. Actually, these look different. Um, now, this could be just because it's the marketing material, but this is five colored. It's normally, like, each one's a color, and if you notice, it looks like there are six of them instead of Am I miscounting? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so there are actually six theme boosters instead of just five. Unless this one is a front theme booster that kind of just, you know, is saying here's what a theme booster is. I think that theme boosters are going to get an overhaul, and I actually predicted that. And maybe not an overhaul, but they're not going to be monocolored. I can't I can't read what that says um, right there. Maybe if we were to drag that into a new window, we could see Viking Theme Booster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it looks like we have the confirmation that these are not going to be monocolored. You can see right here, Viking Theme Booster, and it's going to be a five-color theme. What else this confirms? Vikings are probably going to be a new type, would be my assumption. Looking here, uh, I can't really tell you exactly what these other themes are going to be, but it's nice to see that the Theme Boosters are not just going to be monocolored, and I hope in the future if they continue with that. Getting this closer look, um, I can't really tell anything specific, I can't, this looks like one of the new Planeswalkers, but we'll see about that, um, we got some new art for Kaya, and we've kind of seen a lot of this already, so yeah, let's move back to the article. Kaya and Tybalt are back, so that's confirmation of Kaya and Tybalt, um, but we're also meeting two new Planeswalkers, those being Tevar Kel and Nico Eris. You can meet both of those by clicking on their names, which is essentially a lore article. I'm not going to cover that, but I will link them down below if you want to read all about that. Stay tuned for Magic's Week of Metal. There's going to be a ton of content, some previews, some art, maybe a teaser or two, and then they'll come back on January 7th. So yeah, First off, we get a bunch of cool art. Uh, that's nice to see. <laughs> it's really nice for me making thumbnails. It's kind of hard to just keep reusing the same piece of art that we have from one kind of card. So we get a lot of that here. We get the confirmation of the metal theme. Uh, we get confirmation of Tybalt. It looks like there are going to be four planeswalkers in the set. And by the way, here are the planeswalkers. Uh, maybe they won't all be 
be in this set, but they'll be in the story. I don't know. We may be getting four Planeswalkers, which will be slightly higher than normal. We're getting new kind of theme boosters, similar to the Guilds of Ravnica and Ravnica Allegiance theme boosters, where they weren't just monocolored. Um, and we get the announcement that there will be previews coming the following days from now. So yeah, stay tuned for those. I will be covering everything tomorrow. I just thought I'd do this quick little video to talk about this art. You can kind of see what's going on. We have this weird metal style that they're doing with this. You'll see this here. Um, and we have a bunch of information. So yeah, if you guys want to see more about the Planeswalkers, again, links in the description. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. Subscribe to see more awesome content like this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.